the main reason why we started it was to, to bring together all the creativity we have in our, in our students across uh, all the years. This is a, a search and rescue competition and uh, the robot has to navigate uh, an environment that it is not familiar with, so the students are not aware of the parkour up front. The most challenging part is the mechanical part because you need to move through different, uh, different roads and uh, different circumstances and uh, another challenge is about the control because it's uh, remote control and uh, you cannot see the left, your, the road. You need to com uh, control it remotely. The students uh, will have a lot of fun. <laughs> They will um, learn to work in teams, they will learn to organize themselves, to manage their time. Most importantly, they learn all the things that can possibly go wrong when, when you try these things out in, in practice. And this is a very important lesson. It, worked. it did work for a moment. When I came to university, I had no knowledge about electronics and robots and everything. So I, I think it has prepared us quite well. All the things we've learned in different modules, we combine that and apply it into this robot. I've learned a lot of things. Number one thing is how to use 3D software for CAD design and also how to most, most importantly independently learn because when you leave the university, independent learning is a skill that you have to have and that's a skill that I know I've developed while working on this project. It gives you a lot of practical experience, teamwork. Um, I think it's very helpful. <laughs>